Did you know that from 99 patients infected with the new coronavirus, COVID-19, only half of them were related to the Wuhan seafood market, and two-thirds of them were men? If you want to know more about their symptoms and complications, then stay tuned. Hello, welcome to your trustworthy medical YouTube channel. I'm Dr. Derek Liao, and today we are going to disclose what happened to 99 patients infected with the new coronavirus, COVID-19. So, let's begin. According to this study that will be linked in the description below, 99 patients with this infection were hospitalized in Jinjiang Hospital in Wuhan, China, from January 1st to January 20th, 2020, and follow up until January 25. Of the 99 patients, half of them had a previous history of exposure to the seafood market. Also, most of them were salesmen and market managers. Of the 99 patients, two-thirds were men with a mean age of 55.5 years, and half of the patients had a history of chronic illnesses. The most common were cardiovascular and cerebrovascular disease. What about the symptoms? On admission, most of them had fever or cough, and a third had shortness of breath. Other symptoms include muscle ache, headache, confusion, chest pain, and diarrhea. And what about the complications? Well, many patients presented with organ function damage, including 17 with ARDS, or acute respiratory distress syndrome. Others included acute respiratory injury, acute renal injury, septic shock, and ventilator-associated pneumonia. What about the labs? On admission, half of them had low hemoglobin levels, and 43 patients had liver function abnormalities with hepatic enzymes elevated. They performed chest x-ray and CT to the patients. All of them presented pneumonia. One quarter of them had it in one lung, and the other two quarters had it in both lungs. What about the treatments that they used? Well, all of the patients were treated in isolation. Two quarters of them received antiviral and antibiotic medication. 17 of them required mechanical ventilation to assist them with their breathing. By the end of January 25th, 31 patients had been discharged. 11 patients had died and the other patients were still in the hospital. What do these patients have in common? Of the 11 dead patients, 7 were older than 60 years, 3 had history of hypertension, and another 3 were heavy smokers. According to this study, the new coronavirus is more likely to infect older men with other chronic illnesses and can result in a severe and fatal respiratory disease. If you want to learn more about the new coronavirus, click on the playlist there are going to be different videos about it, and if you want to learn more medical information, subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any new video, and also give a like to this video to show your support. Share this video with at least 7 people so they can also learn from this. Have a good day, and see you later. Bye-bye.